Dave just here for 6.30 p.m. on April 9th, 2024. I would open up the Happy Conservation Commission meeting. First on the agenda is the Notice of Intent 170-297-315 Russell Street. Continued police SLS seeks to reconstruct the Subaru dealership building and parking area. Work will take place within the riverfront area and 100-foot buffer zone. And my understanding is that's being continued, correct, Taylor? Yes. They just sent me revised plans and the request for a certificate of compliance today. So I will email that out and we'll continue it to the May 14th meeting. So I'll look for a motion that continues to the May 14th meeting. I make a motion to continue. Ray to makes the motion. I'll second. Second by Brandon. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Brandon? Aye. Sorry. Okay. All five. So continue. Next on the agenda, request for determination of applicability, Old River Drive. The Hadley DPW seeks to remove the deck from a sinking bridge on Old River Drive over Russellville Brook. And uh, we have Scott here, right? Yes. Yes. What would you like to say, Scott? Uh, uh, Gary, we're just Gary, looking to remove the bridge deck on that. Uh, I know I went out there to the site with you and Kayla and showed us, uh, showed you guys what we're looking to do. We're just uh, going to remove the bridge and uh, deck and not touch anything else. Nothing in the water. So you got erosion control barriers in place? Uh, not yeah. yet, no. But uh, we're not disturbing any of the bank, the embankments or anything. But if you need it, I'll certainly do it. Yeah, just throw something up to make it look good so we get anybody complaining. I okay. think it's pretty cut and dry. We've already talked about this before. I just told Scott that we should just do a request to make sure, make sure everything is yeah. On the up and up and there. How long do you think it's going to take? Uh, right there's a picture. Oh, you don't know. You know how long do you think it's going to take? Uh, not even a day. They're they're just going to put some rigging on it on one end and kind of roll it back onto the uh, asphalt and uh, uh, break it apart further there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So. I'll look for a motion to uh, give a you know request for determination. It'll be a negative. What do you think? I'll make it. Look for a motion to close the hearing. Court makes a motion. Second. Second by Gary. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So now we have to go on to the determination part. It's going to be a negative determination. Negative two, the work described in the request is within the area subject jurisdiction of the act, but will not remove fill dredge or alter the area. Therefore, the good work is not required to find the most of intent. Um, the number two, can you have another one, Kayla? Um, negative six. Probably not. I'm missing a page. Oh, really? That's all. We know what the negative six is. No, it's not here. We're, miss, we're just missing the page. Oh, there it is. No, I'm sorry. My my bad. The area and or work described in the request is not subject to, addition, to additional review and approval by the town of Hadley. Ms. Natalie. Um, we're just going to make sure you have the motion to call in place. Okay. We have a motion for that? I'll we'll make a motion. Steve makes a motion. I'll second. Second by Brandon. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay. So your request has been granted. Thank you. Does uh Kayla have to come out and inspect the uh uh silt or the erosion protection? Uh, if you just send me pictures, that'll be fine. Okay. Okay. And I'll hand this off to you in sometime this week. Okay, great, public, thank you. Public comment. Um, I guess that would be the folks we have here today. Thanks, mm -hmm. Scott. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you want to go? No, go whatever. Right? Are you both together? No. Okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> okay. Absolutely. I'm Rick Bermucci with Bermucci Construction, looking for permission to build a deck extension over at Five Joel Terrace. Um, we did a site visit back in the fall 
Um, and just to speed things along, I kind of excluded the deck in my building permit, but continued with the building portion of the garage. Um, here's the, the extension. I guess there's a buffer zone. We're about 25 feet away. Um, but the elevation is about 12 foot high than that buffer zone. And I think you deemed it just needing to come and get a formal yay or nay. Um, the three footings that we'll be using are diamond piers, basically about a shovel full of dirt. Um, there's these pins, so there's zero excavation, no site work needed. Um, probably about a five-gallon bucket full of dirt that I'd use. Okay. So the problem we have, you know, this is within the 35-foot buffer zone, right? But we can't allow it. No work can be done within the 35 foot of the weapons. Even that, this was taken just today, and it's literally about a two foot wide stream. Yeah. And I don't know. But if, if it's from, like I said, from the way, we have a town bylaw that we can't override. That's the problem. So I guess what what's the, where does the buffer zone mm -hmm. deem anything flat? Anything? You'll probably have to have it flagged by a wetland, but, you know, um, scientist. To determine that, but we 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 just can't go by this, unfortunately. It would it would require at least a request for determination of applicability. I don't think we need to do an NOI, but we need we need surveyed plans showing the wetlands delineation. Mm -hmm. That is, it's, it's an active stream, right? Yeah. 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 Even with the elevation being about twelve to thirteen feet, it's, it's, from, 30, it's a thirty-five mm -hmm. foot part. We can't. It doesn't. It could be a river here with a bank like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's still 35 feet back. It's, hor it's a horizontal distance. It's a horizontal distance. Yeah. Are we even with a, a zero dig footing? Nothing's allowed within 35 feet. Yes. Okay. And that's a town bio. It, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a, I'm sorry. Okay. No, I'm just trying to get through the right path to, to move this project along. Um, so you got to have it that close? It's just, yeah, they, they want to take advantage of their backyard. Um, you can see we're putting on a, you know, they have an existing house with an existing deck, and we're this is going to become a covered deck. And that new deck space here, yep. this is where it tapers way down, so the backyard is kind of. So where is it? Thirty five. Where is this whole back? Brook is down here. Yeah. So what's this now? This is twenty five. No, twenty five is from here. Yeah, right. From yeah. here, from yeah. here to, yeah. Yeah. to to the top of the bank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can see. Their existing deck, we built a new garage and mudroom. We're going to drop it down a couple of steps, and this is about 12 feet. So what's happening to the old deck? You're making it into one of those? Uh, just cover. It's going to stay open. Here's kind of, you know, that buffer zone that is basically right. a brick right. that's not taken care of on the top of Mount Warner. In this so this 25 feet is to the water? Roughly that water's edge. The water. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, you get in there. I mean, you get that thing marked off. As far as wetlands go, so you could have vegetation up even closer than that. Yeah. So I mean, what's the dimension of the deck? Sixteen yeah. by sixteen. Yeah. 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 I, I could see you know, possibly they could do something with the, the right hand portion of that, but that other part part we're trying to expand out is really problematic. You're just getting too close there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't go like maybe cut this back and come up this so like side, this way, come over here more or something. We, or? we could, but I guess what's that? <clears throat> It, but it, 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 either way, we have to get somebody else here to, to delineate that. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, somebody with wetland. We're, that's not our job. I mean, we don't, right. And that's the underneath the, uh, the applicant's responsibility is to provide that documentation. Yes. Showing. Well, I just don't want to incur cost for no reason. Yeah, but this case, if they need, if they really yeah. want that bad, they're going to have yeah, to incur yeah. cost. Okay. And I think it's going to be difficult. Okay. And I'm close to Okay. And it's just any any structure, any yeah. any work, any work. And anything done in that thirty five foot zone. Plus, you're actually projecting over it too as well. So it's, it's, it wouldn't go over it. The deck. Yeah, that's from the deck edge. Yeah. Okay. All right. I guess I'll contact some engineers. Okay, and go from there. All right. Well, good. Thank you for your time. Well, thank you, Rick. Thanks. Yep. Okay, hey guys, you're next. Come on over.
watch the cages over here. Yeah. So what brings you here this evening? Keith West from Hertz Farm. Okay. Um, the the ditch did. I don't know if it's called a ditch, brook, whatever. Front that runs through our main property from south and then in, in between Bay Road and South Maple, the big field. Yep. In the middle of that, and it runs over and crosses under East Hadley Road. On his end, on the south end of it, towards Searles. It's now all the grass. We leave a buffer strip along the bottom to keep when you're plowing that from sediment getting to the brook. Well, all that tall grass has got that brook plugged up on that brook. Ditch Back there. up into your property? And it's yeah. starting to affect in there also. Mm -hmm. It's based, I'd say, the last 100 yards where it meets the woods on their end. And I brought Brandon out and showed him. I have a few yeah. pictures, but my phone's just about dead. Um, granted, it's high water season now, but where you could, I know where it used to run, and it used to be just a regular strip. This is all the buffer strip grass that we leave there and don't. I think it's going to be a case where we're probably going to have to go out there. And, and like this is all is, yeah, I have no idea what people 30 are. feet out in the cornfield or more. Okay. So, um, I know right where you are. I just have, yeah. I, I've never been out there. I show Brandon yeah. where it is. Yeah. If you park at Searles, mm -hmm. our cornfield's right there. Yep. And you walk straight down the boundary between that and the first house. When you get to the dip brook at the bottom, you'll see it's. Yeah, you can see the original, so the original. What we need to do for all of us to go out there have a meeting with you. Yeah, look at the site. Yeah, and you can we can try you can try to describe what you want to accomplish, what you want to do for work. All I want, I don't, I think if you dug the grass out of it, that's yeah. all yeah. laying down. Clearly, survive with what's what, and mobile and agriculture. That lands all in APR also. Sick. Yeah. Regular maintenance, uh, land and agricultural use. That's all APR. Yeah, yeah. APR. That was one of the first sections we had close to thirty years now. And now yeah. the other question is: Do we need APR to approval to do this work? I don't believe so. I, mean, well, I don't think you do. I don't, I don't think so. To, to clean the ditch. No, you shouldn't need it, especially because it's impacting the actual agricultural yeah. part of the APR. I mean, right. So that's what they. That's what our whole goal is to maintain that. So. So let's let's try to set the time that we go out there. The next three days are gonna be rain. So I'm flexible, whatever works for you guys. I think tomorrow's gonna be sh just showers. Yeah, or well we got it's gonna rain at five tomorrow. So I mean you got tomorrow morning, afternoon. Okay. It's up to you. Or we can push it off till weekend so, next week, whatever you want to do. Do it tomorrow, right? I just say we'll do it tomorrow while we yeah. while we're all available. That's fine. What yeah. time works for everybody here? I'm off all day, so nine o'clock. What's that? Nine. Okay. Yeah. Eight, seven, nine. Nine. Okay. So nine o'clock. We'll meet there. We'll do nine. Does that work for you? Yeah. Uh, I'll have my brother go. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Oh, let's get it. We're not gonna go. No. He'll <laughs> be around there. I, I'll be gone by then. It's not a big deal. Okay. Nine o'clock. We'll be out there. Yeah. We'll look at it. And Either stop at the farm or he can it, it, he'll be able to describe what he wants to do. Well, it's pretty simple because we're like yeah. the bottom of the field comes here and then you, you act, it actually lifts up right now. And then you could see where the original yeah. brook was. And now it's kind of flowing around that and berm down right down the length of the field. And what do you want to do with work? As soon as we can. But is this something we can all look at together as a board? We. I mean, technically, I think it's supposed to be less than a quorum. Um, yeah, for a second. Okay, well, two of us will meet at I won't bother. You know, another group will come at 9 15. Okay, but we'll, yeah. we, you can wait at 9 o'clock until we get All it right. done. Okay, we'll be there. Bring muck boots, too, if you got them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. After this wet. Okay. So we can get done. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I think it's a. Uh, Doable. We just need to put our eyes on it. I'm gonna have to talk to you before I did anything. You know, yeah. yeah. You know, it's an existing ditch, right? Yeah, it was yeah. there. 
It's always been there. And like if you drive down East Hadley and you look at it, it goes like this, but all the grass and that isn't in it on that axis. Now the whole thing you know is I mean? expanding with so wise. Like south and it's just getting wider and wider. Okay. We'll go look at this one. So more water is totally okay. grass bits. Right. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? I need a okay. rinse. Yeah. Yeah. Your truck? Yeah. I think I have to go this far. Mute, please. You got a mute? Please, you want to talk? Oh. Does anybody on Zoom want to talk to us? Hello? Lionel, you need to talk to us? Yeah, I'm just wondering what's going on with the that tree removal thing policy. policy we got going on. We're gonna review it tonight. Talk about it. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay. So I'm gonna move on to discussion as other business. So the next would be the tree removal policy. If you all folks could have a chance to review a little bit over. See? Yep. Yep. Um I'm fine with the way it's been put together. I think it's something that we want that could be helpful we need it are there any other directions we want to go with it is it worth looking into more it's just a guideline right though it's yeah. not really set, guideline. Set in stone. I, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's reasonable I don't think that's out of the question yeah it gives us options of giving uh, approval without going through a well permitting process as well and I think if anything becomes super questionable, we can still take a second look at it. Right. Okay. So. And we can, yeah, we can always make it so, more more strict or less. Strict. Right. And it's every, no, every situation could be is, different. It's a, it's a good place to start. Yeah. Do, does anybody want to make any uh, adjustments or changes to it right now? Or do we want to approve it as is, subject to further? Looks all right. Changes it if, if we find it. It gives us a starting point. What do you think, Gail? Fine with that? Adopt it and then change it later. So, right, I, I'm going to look for a motion. Well, can I can I just ask a question? The, the conservation agent, one of the uh, one of the reviews, the conservation agent may administratively approve the following for trees if no lawn expansion is proposed. And so, so are you? Will you be able to pro to approve a tree removal? This is in the case if it's hazardous. So okay, yeah. And I, I think Scott has a question as well. Scott, have a question? Yeah, uh, Gary, I'd just like to make a comment that we've had, been having a little problem with people uh, doing uh, tree work, uh, public shade trees, anything within our property is under my jurisdiction. Just want to remind everyone of that. Yeah, so, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Wetland resource area. And it just kind of is a guideline for what types of permits we're going to require at or based on the amount of trees and the condition of the tree. And it would only be for people that actually own the land. Right. So if it's on if it's found a Hadley there, they can't do that without going through you. Scott, if it's in the public taking, it's yours. Yes, that is correct. I am the uh, appointed tree warden for Hadley, so any kind of tree work in our the public right away has to go through me. Right. This is mostly private property near a wetland, near near a uh, bordering vegetated wetland. Okay. It, 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 it very good. Yeah, very well could. Yes. God, as a tree warden, do you want to take a look at it? I could send it over to you. Yeah, I, I can, Kayla. I just wanted to throw it out there to your board that you know, just as a friendly re reminder that. You know, jurisdiction uh, of public shade trees are falls under it, me, and you know, you know the it, issues we've been having. So, it, have you had a chance to look at this? The first I heard of it, I'm not even so sure where we, it is. Why don't we continue to the next meeting? Yeah. I'm going to get Kayla's going to get your copy of it for you to look at the critique, and I see if you want to make any changes. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move this to the following May 14th meeting for approval. Okay. Good. Memorial tree planting. Kayla, you're up. So I did have to adjust the dates um, for the tree planting to Friday or because W is going to help us transport the tree and plant it. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to make it. Um, Friday, April 26th. What yeah. time? Six at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. I'm going to put them. Right. And um, I'm going to be ordering a plaque and a tree from Wanzitz. 
So this will cost about between 200 and 250 dollars that I was thinking we'd use our supply budget for, which we haven't really used all year. We have about 300 dollars left for the whole fiscal year. Um, so we'll have to vote on that. So I'm gonna make, look for a motion to take the money out of that account as Kayla yep. suggested up to three hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. Do I have a motion? Make a motion. Right. I second. second. Yeah. Brandon. Any further discussion? All in favor? Oh, aye. 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 Are you there? It's okay. So you got the approval of this member. All right. And then I think some of the family members some of the family members will be meeting us there. Okay. Um so the twenty sixth at eight AM. No, one o'clock. I have a whole one, but yeah, I don't know if we need any but we kind of wait. Yeah. Cool. Uh, minutes would be for March. April, April 26th. April 26th. Okay, well, we're looking to approve. Dale? Yes, I put some minutes on that too. Oh, do you have there it? some minutes here, anybody want to look oh. at them? Yeah, Give me a few minutes to yeah. peruse it. Uh, we got it. I got it. <laughs> Are we on minutes now, or can I bring something up as well? What do you mean? Um, uh, 105 stock ribs. The Kellys were had some concerns about that grain work that went went on there. Yeah. So Davenport went through, put in all that new stormwater around the buildings, but they didn't actually do anything when it came to the ditch. So all that water is still just going to go right into that ditch and not go anywhere. So they had some concerns about that. We had a meeting. I think it was July when we initially discussed it when they showed up. Um, that ditch really needs to get cleaned out. For that water to go in. All the pipe, all the piping's in. All so, the piping's in, yeah. So if anything now it's just gonna create more of a problem with more water flowing in there. So is this something we should just go look at tomorrow as well while we're doing the other one? If we want to, sure. If so, people are available, yeah, that's fine so, with me. Well, I'll, I'll you know I'll well. make a trip around and get it done. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Uh so everybody look over the minutes if you want to make any comments. I'm fine with them. If everybody's fine, I'll look for a motion to accept the March 12th minutes. I'll make a motion to accept the March minutes. Ready makes a motion. Second by second. Ready for discussion? All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 Anything else, Kayla, you'd like to bring up? Thanks. March Conservation Commission about the big soil pile. UMass campus, it's by the Governor's Way, Forestry, Forestry Drive, Forestry Way. Um, that was covered and had erosion controls around it. It's within the Mill River kind of buffer zone. Um, and I think those got removed. And so the Amherst Conservation Commission reached out mm -hmm. with concerns that they had removed the erosion control. So I'm going out for a site visit with Jason Benditti from UMass facilities. Okay. Um, and Kristen McDonough, as every mm -hmm. people, I think they've been involved in the recent stream restoration work over there. Okay. We'll have to figure out. But, is know. that what it is? It's all spoils from that project? or? So I think it's stores that UMass, there was some construction project that UMass is doing, um, and they've, they've been using it as a storage area. Okay. So that's going to be it tomorrow at 2 p.m. If you want another site visit, come along. Well, I'll go see Jason. Yeah. He's going one day, you know. Yeah, that somebody from Amherst College, they just reached out saying they're doing like a research project with their class that they're going to be studying wildlife impacts in, near um, the Holyoke Ranch. So they're putting some cameras on trees in that area, and they just wanted to let us know that they'll be doing that. It's not really in our jurisdiction. It's not a wetland or anything, um, but it could be interesting. It sounds like yeah. a cool study. Wildlife impact, what's... Yeah, the ideas. They figure out to stick the cameras in. The UMass campus will get more action. Are you talking about are you talking about like trails and yeah. stuff like that affecting the wildlife yeah. and right? Yeah. There's no wildlife. So they're gonna be monitoring the bikers, not the deer. Oh. they they said they're gonna yeah. count like how many people pass through an area and then how many animals pass through and how that changes in different parts of the park based on how much human traffic there is. So it could be interesting. Yeah, we had the same thing. Yep. When was that, about a year ago? Yeah. 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 It's kind of common sense, you know, when you put out that many trails there, there isn't going to be as many critters. Just not going to be. Oh. You just want to know the gear noise. Whatever it takes. <laughs> That's all I have. Okay. Anything else, folks? <clears throat> that being said, I will look for a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Gordon makes a motion to adjourn. I'll second. Brandon seconds.
Hearing no further discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.